Welcome to By the Numbers, where with the help of my faithful AI assistant, Fanda, we'll gather all the data on your favorite fictional worlds and use it to 3D print a six foot dude named Chris. We'll name him Chris Heavens. In today's installment, we'll be taking a look at the four Chris's, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, and Chris Pine. Four men who are legitimately everywhere. Whether it be movies, memes, people's sexiest man alive issues, or cologne ads, these C's are impossible to escape. We'll be pulling stats from their 113 combined movies that have been released since 2001, though we'll be excluding their TV shows. My sincere apologies to the fans of Defending, Jacob, and Angie Tribeca. First, we'll break down how many people the four men have beaten up, defeated, or killed during their many adventures. Then, we'll take a look at their romantic stats, which includes hookups, sexual encounters, and interactions with bananas. Finally, we'll break down their box office and critical reception metrics. And at the end, we'll toss in some additional surprise categories to sweeten the crisp pot. Let's begin with their fighting prowess and ability to jump in the air with hammers and bash VFX creations. Fanda, which Chris has defeated or killed the most people, aliens, monsters, innocent people, etc., during their action-heavy careers? Keep it to only on-screen destruction. Also, let's only count the instances that we can see to prevent guesswork. I know that Steve Rogers kills loads of people in that giant tank in Captain America, and Captain Kirk orders the destruction of the Narada in Star Trek. It's just, I have no clue how many people are in there. Scanning. Scanning. Yeesh, that final fight in Thor The Dark World is bad. Scanning. Oh wow, Chris Evans is a beast in Snowpiercer. Displaying results. Hemsworth is the most victorious Chris, with more on-screen kills than Evans, Pratt, and Pine combined. This makes sense because of the eight times that he's appeared as Thor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the guy can slam his hammer in the ground and go boom, and then hundreds of frost giants or outriders are dead. It's worth noting that he also took out several of Thanos' ships in Infinity War and killed several Chitari Leviathan in the Avengers. If we had concrete numbers on those crews, that'd increase his count even more. Adding to his MCU tally are Extraction, Red Dawn, and 12 Strong, where he defeats 144 unlucky people who happen to be in his vicinity. He also kills Sean Bean and Cash, a true rite of passage for any aspiring Chris. I see the Fanda also included some extra fighting data here. Let's see. Chris Pine narrowly edged Hemsworth to win the muddiest Chris crown, as he killed 19 soldiers in Outlaw King while stuck in mud. He also lost three scraps in Bottle Shock and was whooped twice by Bill Pullman. Okay, so Hemsworth has crushed the most foes and conquered hundreds of villains or frost giants who are just minding their own business. Fanda, can you now analyze which Chris has the best romantic stats? Please don't include relationships they're already in when the movie starts and don't count the same partner more than once. My pleasure. Scanning. Scanning. Why do they make passengers? Scanning. Now I know why Hemsworth made Rush. Scanning. Displaying results. Overall, it looks like this. Chris Evans is the most romantic Chris in Not Another Teen Movie, The Perfect Score, Captain America, Captain America Civil War with his niece or something, it's weird, The Loss of Teardrop Diamond, Gifted, Before We Go, Playing It Cool, Puncture, What's Your Number, Push, London, The Nanny Diaries, Ghosted, Fantastic Four 1 and 2, and several more films, we see Evans in all sorts of romantic entanglements. It's worth noting that the film with the most sex, however, is Rush. Chris Hemsworth is seen hooking up with 11 women. Uh, hey, Fanda, based on your analysis, is there any Chris that could make passengers less creepy? Pine. Oh, it's that easy? Yes. He somehow pulled off the non-consensual body-swapping subplot in Wonder Woman 1984. All right. So Hemsworth and Evans both have one category win each at this point. So for our final study, let's zero in on critical reception, audience scores, and worldwide box office. Fanda, can you please scan your database and pull those numbers? Scanning. Scanning. Displaying results. Rotten Tomatoes average, IMDb user score, and worldwide average box office go to Hemsworth. Rotten Tomatoes audience score goes to Evans, worldwide total box office to Pratt, and Metacritic score and user score goes to Pine. Since Hemsworth has the highest averages in the most categories, he wins this round too, making him King Chris according to our highly scientific method. It's worth noting here, however, that Chris Pratt is a box office monster. He's got the highest grossing Chris movie that isn't a sequel or comic book film with the Lego movie at 468 million. And even a legendary stinker like Passengers collected over 300 million at the box office. That's a flex. Pratt is also the only Chris to have a non-MCU movie that made over a billion worldwide. All three Jurassic World movies cleared that milestone, as did the Super Mario Bros. movie. Hey, Fanda, while you were scanning through the movies, did you notice anything else interesting? Chris Pratt has appeared in supporting roles in three films nominated for Best Picture, Her, Zero Dark Thirty and Moneyball, but Chris Pine is the only actor in a starring role in a Best Picture nominated film, Hell or High Water. Chris Evans is the crying king, 
He's cried nine times during his films. He actually cries five times in Snowpiercer. Chris Evans has died in eight movies, which is one more than Chris Pine. I'm counting Captain America the first Avenger, because when he sacrifices himself, he thinks he's going to die. All four of the Chris's love to ride motorcycles in their films. Pratt rides with raptors, Evans defeats Nazis on a bike. And Hemsworth cruises around on a space motorcycle. But the winner in this category is Chris Pine in Star Trek Beyond, because there's about 50 of him cruising around. The numbers dictate that he wins this category. When it comes to saving people, the king is Chris Hemsworth, who has saved the universe multiple times, and even saved all the gods from Christian Bale. He also saved Snow White with a kiss, and he sacrificed himself to save Chris Pine in Star Trek. Dude can't stop saving people. Well, there you have it. Every Chris is a winner in something. But in the categories that really matter, Hemsworth's fighting ability, coupled with his wins in average box office, Rotten Tomato critic score, IMDb user score, and saving people, that Ozzy has earned the title of King Chris. For now. They make like so many movies every year, you guys. It'll change. That's Chris for now. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe.